Hello, this is Alyssa with Patriot Marketing. We had reached out to you a couple days ago, um, and I want to say it was last week, actually, and I do apologize for um, not sending this out right away. My husband and I, we had a um, death in the family, but um, and we had the funeral this weekend, so I do apologize for not like getting to you right away. However, we did promise this free custom video, and so here it is. I'm going to keep it short and sweet and um, go over a few tips and tricks to really just maximize your volume and uh, traffic and business you'd be getting from online. Um, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started. First of all, I would like to point out a couple of things that I really liked about your guys' website. So there's the click to call button right here. There's the uh, request a quote, uh, free estimates. Those all three are really great to have on a website. They help with converting people over as clients and help you get in touch with potential clients sooner. Um, and also with the click to calls, um, when somebody's already taking time out of their day to call you, they're more likely to convert over as a client. Um, but I did wanna just go over a couple of things that I would suggest maybe. And something I noticed is there wasn't a whole lot of content on here and content is anything that I can highlight, whether it be text or images. In this case, I'd be talking about the images. No, sorry, the text. Pardon me. I don't know why I said images. In this case, I'd be talking about the text. Um, and the reason why you want a lot is because you want to rank for a lot of different keywords. Keywords, for example, um, San Diego concrete, um, concrete, uh, wow, concrete contractors in San Diego. Um, these have very low competition numbers, however, a very, very, very high search volume. Um, so those are great keywords to have. They all have their own search, individual uh, search volumes per month. Um, and so all of these together for your field of work and area that you are in creates a total search volume of 2.1 thousand per month. And it's a lot of volume to be had that you're not getting because, uh, because you don't have much content containing those these keywords in there. So when people search for it with these keywords, they aren't you're not coming up under their search because you don't have these keywords within your content. Um, and so they're not able to find you that way. And it's really important to put yourself in a position to be found. Um, and how you would do that would be having a website. What did I just do? Sorry. Having a website with uh, containing with a bunch of content containing the keywords you want to need to be found for. I would even go as far as like saving the uh, images as those keywords and then re-uploading them to your website. Um, so then those images then start to count as content towards your website. It's a really sneaky way to insert a keyword onto your website without actually putting it in the text. Um, so that's something that you could do. And the reason why uh, content and keywords is super, super crucial for a website is because when Google crawls your website, they not only see that you have the, the content, but you also have the keyword verbatim within your content. Um, and it helps you rank faster and more efficiently. Um, the reason being is because Google believes that the more content and keywords that you have, the more likely you, you are to be an expert in your field. And at the end of the day, their whole goal is that whoever is searching on their platform finds what they're looking for. So if somebody was searching for contract, uh, concrete contractors, uh, San Diego, um, and they ended up, uh, basically what they would do is they would rank the people that they, they deem to be more of an expert in the field, AKA has a lot of content on their website before they would rank the people who don't have as much content as on their website, even if they are more of an expert in that field or more experienced or provide better work. And unfortunately, that's just how Google works. Um, so long story short, uh, the more content you have, the more likely you are to be found because Google wants the people searching on their platform to find what they need quickly and efficiently. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my next tip for you. Um, we'll talk more about content and keywords in a little bit. Uh, but uh, my next tip would be to expand upon this Google business profile. Um, it would really maximize the amount of traffic and business you'd be getting from that. And what I mean by that is when people search for any given keyword, there is a lot of ways in which they can convert over as a client. Um, I'm going to go over to this tab over here as the first cup. Well, 
one of the first things that I'm going to talk about. It's not your field of work. It's not the area that you are in. However, I do want you to see what these look like. Um, you can get the local ads, which are located at the top. These uh, capture the people who um, click on the very first thing that they see. They're also Google guaranteed up, up to a certain dollar amount. So if something happens or goes wrong, um, you know, they trust that the people using the local ads trust that Google will make it right monetarily. And um, also when you hover your mouse over these local ads, there's a phone number that drops down the company's phone number. Uh, that would be, you know, um, that when people, like I was talking about with the click to call button, um, when people are already taking time out of their day to call you, they're more likely to um, convert over as a client. And um, that's why these local ads have such a high conversion rate. Um, just under the local ads is the Google ads themselves. I don't have an example to show you of that here, but they're typically located um, under the local ads here at the top. Um, and so because of their location on the page, they put you in a position to be seen by a lot of different people. They are also a lot cheaper. However, they do not have as high of a conversion rate. Um, I'm going to go back over here because the rest of, that, of what I'm going to cover um, for Google business profile stuff is covered here. Um, so the Google Map Pack um, here, this, you know, the people who search this way, they want to see a company that is local and in the area. Congratulations on being number two here, um, I want to say, because the people here listed in this Google Map Pack, they can pull up to 40% of the traffic coming in on a keyword. So it's almost guaranteed to them. So if we take a look at a keyword with a search volume of, oh, say, three, 300, you're looking at about 120 going to these guys right here. So you are getting that 40%, uh, um, but 40% going to these uh, top uh, these top three here, and that's a good chunk of that traffic just gone gobbled up by the uh, Google Map Pack. Um, you are getting that, like I said earlier, because you're right here, but um, um, the rest of that 60% kind of filters throughout this page um, on Google. Um, and this is where ranking organically comes in. Ranking organically, uh, the concept is pretty simple. The higher your ranking in Google, the more traffic you're going to pull to your website and more business that you're going to get from that. Um, so these people up here are doing way better than the ones down here, and people rarely go to that second page of Google. So it's important that when it comes to ranking organically that you are ranking high enough to be seen on that first page so you get some of that traffic. Um, and speaking of ranking organically, that leads me to my third and final tip for you. Um, in order to rank organically, you do need to build the strength of your website. Um, and I have you plugged into this tool that I have uh, called Arefs. Um, it shows me where you're at in your online presence. Um, so in order to build the strength of your website, you do need to add backlinks and referring domains. Um, with backlinks, unfortunately, not all of them are created equal. Um, and so it looks like the, this is the quality of your... Okay, here we go. So the highest quality backlink that you have is a 12. Um, and unfortunately, that's kind of a low quality one. They get, I have it listed from highest quality to lowest quality here. Um, so you would want to get rid of these uh, lower quality backlinks and add higher quality ones um, because they're not doing... So here's a zero. These aren't doing anything for you. Um, so they're a waste of time and money. So basically, get I would replace these zeros with um, some better quality backlinks in order to build that strength of your website. Um, and when it comes to referring domains, um, referring domains, the best way to describe what that is, say you provided some services for somebody and they decided to blog about the services you provided them and they have a link back to your website. That would count as a referring domain and referring domains can pack a lot of power, some more than others, as you can see here. So the higher the num th this number is, the more power it has and the more trusted by Google it is. So you have a 72, that's that's a pretty high power one, but there is a bunch of zeros here, and I would actually replace some of those zeros out with some uh, higher higher power uh, referring domains. Um, so with that said, um, 
the more power you have with with the referring domains the higher these numbers are going to be um, and with these you want them to be you want as high of a number as possible and at a one-to-one -one ratio um, with UR and DR uh, so with contractors in general um, we want to see them in the 20s 30s 40s range with UR, you are in um, in the 20s range. DR, you are at a 0.5, so not at a one-to-one -one ratio. You would want to work on that. Um, you have 120 backlinks, as we saw. Not all of those are high quality. Referring domains, you have 113, and not all of them are very powerful. Um, so you're ranking for 16 organic keywords and not getting any traffic to your website. So um, I'm going to go over keywords again um, so with that said keywords you want uh, not to rank for your your um, name so much uh, because when it comes to that people aren't searching for your name they're looking for the services that you have to offer so getting maybe um, some of these narrowed uh, service keywords San Diego concrete contractors I mean I guess that's kind of helpful that that is your name um, but it definitely narrows down your audience and gets uh, a more narrowed audience on people who are more likely to convert over as a client. Um, so with that said, uh, you know, you also want to rank for uh, things that, as I was saying, narrows down your audience to your field of work and area that you are in. Because um, you don't want a national keyword that's going to get somebody from, say, San Francisco and they just pass through your website and they don't convert over as a client because they're not in your area. That's why you want to have these more narrowed keywords. Um, so um, that's where you're at in your online presence. I'm going to show you one of your competitors. Um, this is their website. It is Agondez Concrete. I think that's how you pronounce their name. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I found them, they're above you in the Google Map Pack. Um, and so they're getting up 40%. Uh, However, they're also getting more as they are ranking number one just under Yelp organically uh, on Google. So that's why I chose them as your competitors. Um, their website, uh, they don't have suit a whole bunch of content. But what I really wanted you to see was where they're at in their online presence. So. They have uh, 1.32 thousand uh, backlinks, have 237 referring domains. Their UR is 26, DR is 9, um, so they're a little higher than you in that. They have more backlinks, referring domains. Um, they're ranking for 937 organic keywords and getting an organic traffic of 722. So if we take a look at their um, referring, sorry, uh, backlinks, let's see what they've got when it comes to backlinks. And I'm going to list it because I don't have it already listed from highest. Okay, so they are definitely reachable. Your highest quality backlink was eight, uh, was a 12. Uh, theirs is 18. And they probably definitely have, if we go to this page here, page 25, yeah, they have those zeros. So even though they have a mess of backlinks, you could definitely beat them out in, um, you know, if you got more backlinks and uh, got better quality ones as well, um, it would be pretty easy to outrank them then. They're referring domains. You know, they, they have a few zeros here, um, more there. But uh, yeah, no, I would definitely get more referring domains um, with a lot of power so that way you can outrank them there um, and that way you'll be more trusted by Google in Google's eyes um, because you'll have more power with that so getting rid of those zeros and replacing them with more of those 70s that I saw on your referring domains um, and you have a lot of zeros and single digits and they do not they have a lot of uh, double digits uh, when it comes to trust with Google um, so definitely getting a whole bunch of those uh, more trusted referring domains so that way you can outrank your competition that way. Um, so we're going to take a look at their organic keywords. Um, so they have, whereas you are kind of mainly ranking for your um, name over and over again, um, 
I know it's a service keyword as well, but uh, definitely maybe expanding on things like, if we take a look at them, Concrete San Diego, cement companies, uh, that's a national keyword, so don't use that one. Um, but a lot of these, you know, maybe s taking a look at some of their particular keywords and seeing what you could rank for. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things here, a lot of different keywords. Um, there's a lot of different things in which you can do to um, outrank, outrank these guys. I believe they are definitely beatable. Um, they're getting a lot of traffic, but you are not that far off when it comes to backlinks and referring domains. Adding that content and keywords would definitely be beneficial for you so you can rank for more organic keywords than just the 16 um, and get more traffic. Um, you're really limiting yourself without that content and keywords and without adding those backlinks and referring domains. You're really limiting yourself as to how much um business you're generating from your website from the traffic that's coming through and there's not any traffic coming through your website at all um so with that said i hope that this has been helpful and informative um if you have any comments questions or concerns feel free to reach out to me or my husband we would both love to get in touch with you and whatever time works best for you um and so with that uh you have a fantastic rest of your day and god bless